reporting for duty. Hi, I'm Kira Kosaran, executive producer and star of the Thundermans movie, The Thundermans Return. Uh, that's a good question. What can I tell? What am I allowed to reveal? Working on the movie both on camera as an actor and off camera as an executive producer has been crazy. It's been really, really fun. It's been really, really busy, but it's really special to be able to be part of helping it all come to life in a new, even bigger way than just being on camera. Guys, this whole place is gonna blow and we don't know the password. I <laughs> smacked you with my hair, sorry. <laughs> so originally they just came to me looking to see if there was any interest to bring this show back in some sort of a format. And the format that they originally presented it to me in didn't feel quite right to me. So I sort of came back and said, if I'm going to do it, I think it's really important that we do this, 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 and this, um, which is essentially producing, right? Picking certain people to be on the project or choosing the genre or, you know, picking certain storylines that need to happen or hiring certain writers or whatever. That was essentially executive producing in and of itself. So when I kind of brought that to the table and said, I really think we should do it this way, lucky for me, the, the network was kind of like, yeah, you're right, those are good ideas. Let's do those ideas, cool. And so they, they brought me onto the project as a, as a producer. Hey, Blue Flame, we can do this the easy way or the oh! hard way it is. So one of the things that makes this movie feel very different from the original series is that we're shooting everything incredibly out of order over the course of four weeks. It's very challenging yeah. to know where we are and what we're doing. Yes, but just in general. We were on this show for so many formative years of our lives. For me, I was 14. I turned 15 on the set of the original pilot. And, you know, I'm 25 now, coming back to this show as a grown woman with a very different life. Phoebe Thunderman? Hi, Mrs. Wong. Oh, this brings back memories. <laughs> Coming back almost felt like going back to high school a little bit. There's a lot of emotions tied up in all of that. Um, so that was a big thing too. The first couple of days, everyone was sort of like in a dream state, just like, where are we? What is going on? But then we all settled in really quickly. And by day three, it kind of felt like we'd never left. Welcome to the Mountain Ledge. This is probably the biggest set we've ever had over the course of the Thundermans. So much action happening up here. We've got an unbelievable stunt team. A lot of action happening today. What? I did press purple. I feel like adults a lot of times don't give kids credit for how smart they are. And I really knew that fans were gonna catch every single detail. And like, I remember a lot of little details from the series that I wanted to make sure that we paid off, you know? When we left the series, Colossal had a son. Where's Balfour? I was like, we need to know where Balfour is in the script. Our kid's gonna say, what happened to Balfour? Even just the behind the scenes content I've been posting. I posted something in my super suit. They rebuilt my shoes to be a little more comfortable. And the kids were like, those are different shoes. How did you know? They're the same shoes. But like the detail, the eye for detail is so there. What's up, everyone? It's Jack Griffo for Orange Carpet, and we are back at the Thunderman's return. We are so excited to be here. Who's ready for a little sneak peek? Let's go. We got meteors coming in hot. Say your name and fan out. Why do we need to say our names? Because it looks great in the highlight reel. <laughs> Ultimate Underground. Yeah. Take one, ABC and X, day 32. Mark. So after moving away, the Thundermans are coming back to Hiddenville. And I play Max, the oldest son in the family of superheroes who are always battling supervillains all the time, which doesn't always go to plan. And after a certain mishap, we're ready to get things back on track and shake things up a little bit. Hey, it's Addison Rickey, and I play Nora Thunderman, and we're here filming The Thunderman's Return. The whole cast is back together, and we're so excited to be doing this for you. We're gonna be back in Hiddenville, making some new friends, going to school, and leading a normal life. Nora, I thought you said don't use our powers. I know, I panicked. I really want friends. 
All right, well, that all sounds good. But why have a normal life when you can literally have a super-powered life? This might be the first time ever that I actually agree with Max. Guys, this whole place is about to blow and we don't know the password. I'm Kira Kosterin, I play Phoebe Thunderman, and we are filming a ton today. Right now, we're on one of my personal favorite sets, the living room and the kitchen, uh, which really does feel like home to me after all these years. Um, we're doing so much cool stuff today, and I absolutely cannot wait for you to see it, so. Stay tuned. Think. Think. Hey, it's Diego Velasquez, also known as Billy, and I am really happy to be back in Hiddenville and ready to make some friends. But something tells me it's not going to go as smooth as everyone is hoping. Billy, set a perimeter. On it. What's a perimeter? Hey, a kid can dream, right? Dream on, baby. Hey, listen up. Knowing this family, I can guarantee it's not going to go smooth. With new supervillains and the fate of Hiddenville at stake, you never know what's going to happen next. Luckily, they have me on the team now. I'm ready. And I'm a Thunderman. It's what we do. Hi, I'm Maya Leigh Clark, and I play Chloe. Filming this movie has been such a fun experience. Don't, Don't hit him, he's no. just a child. And I can't wait for everyone to see the Thunderman's return. Uh, guys, why is everyone just standing around? Shh, quiet. Or savoring the moment. I mean, the biggest message for the fans of the Thundermans is thank you. Like, I wouldn't have my life without you guys, truly. Um, but the other thing I want to say is trust me. That's the biggest thing. I, I feel your fears when something that you loved that was comforting for you comes back. And I know how scary that can be. It was scary to me too. But I got you. Trust me. We're going to make this feel like the show that you loved, that you watched, that brought you comfort in the original series and make you feel hopefully like you're coming home too. We love you guys. We love you too. <laughs>